Welcome to another Tesla Tips and Trips video. Today, we've got a software update review of sorts. Uh, this is no small update, at least from the outside looking in. It looks like there's some actual uh, useful nuggets of things to check out. So join me as we take a look at the latest update 2022.36.2. All right, so first and foremost, we've got the um, the Energy app there. It's got a, a little update, and you can now monitor the uh, amount of energy used while driving and parked. That's interesting. We'll go take a look at that in a second. Uh, see how much energy is used consumed by different vehicle components. This is kind of like your iPhone. Uh, driving behaviors, environmental conditions. This is comprehensive now. It used to just kind of give you an idea of how what the car was doing as a whole. Now it seems to be um, broken down into to different things, which is great. So we'll go take a look at that in a second. Cabin heat, overheat protection, I will show you that as well. It's not as big as you think. There's only three choices now instead of the, just the, the setting itself. Uh, Tesla app, that doesn't seem like a big deal, I guess, unless you're spying on your significant other with the app. <laughs> uh, supercharger additional details. This is kind of cool. I'll uh, show you that as well. It's nice to know when the uh, busy times are happening. Uh, not that it uh, controls your, your choice too much when you're on a road trip or whatever, but um, useful information at that. Anyway, uh, car left open. I thought we had that already. Uh, oh, I guess it tells you if it's unlocked, not necessarily if the door is open or whatever which has happened a couple of times. I've, uh, I've got a notification on my phone. Your door has been left open and it's not my car, it's my wife's. <laughs> uh, and we got the new language support, which always happens in uh, new updates. So let's take a look at the Energy app itself. This looks pretty cool. Um, Energy app, now that part looks the same. It's uh, when you wanna go into here. So now we've got different things going on with driving, climate, battery conditioning, elevation, and everything else. I love that. That's pretty funny. Um, what else we got here? All in park. Oh, these are a different thing. Screen time, preconditioning, cabin overheat, sentry mode, mobile app, uh, summon standby, and vehicle standby. These are very cool that I can't wait to see these populated with actual stuff in there. I just updated this car, uh, I guess, six hours ago or so, and the car has been sitting in the garage, so it hasn't been doing much. But um, very cool stats that we can see exactly where we can fine tune um, our usage to maybe optimize range and uh, optimize battery uh, uh, charge and stuff. So this is very cool. Very similar to an iPhone under the battery tab on your iPhone. Um, so we got the driving, miles consumed, consumption. Good stuff. And so check this out. I tapped the uh, rated button here. I want to break into my own video here. After 1.4 miles uh, of driving, I know that's not a big sample size, but stuff has been uh, populated here. And it gives some tips over here, range tips, for instance. Setting the cabin temperature to 72 would have saved a half a mile. Uh, aggressive acceleration consumes more energy. I don't remember any aggressive uh, acceleration, but uh, and going uphill costs a half a mile and going downhill saved 1.2 miles on this drive of 1.4 miles. Hmm, okay. So we've got the driving here, climate, battery conditioning, elevation, uh, and then you got the everything else. So kind of cool to see this um, all in the app, ready to go. 0.3 miles less than estimated in vehicle consumption. I think that's um, that's gonna show it's where uh, as people start seeing these things uh, filled out and stuff. So that is the energy thing. Let's take a look at superchargers. Let's go to a nearby one, if I can find it. Uh, where's the fancy red flag? There we go. We got one nearby. Wait, is that, what is that? Oh, that's the new one. Okay, that's not it. It's in the same area though. There's our local supercharger. And you could tell when the uh, popular times are. Also tells us, uh, we've had that before, but uh, out of order, um, idle fees. The uh, rate doesn't seem to be there does it? How much does it cost? Oh, it's right here. Oh, it was in the thing. Didn't see that. So uh, yeah, it's right there. 47 cents a kilowatt. Not good, I know. And it still has all the amenities. Um, I'm guessing that's a bathroom there. Fork and knife, coffee, which is no longer there. Um, so they need to update that. 
shopping and Wi-Fi. So um, that th that bar graph there seems to be the latest, greatest thing that uh, is in this update for the supercharging. What else we got? Oh, cabin overheat. That is under safety. And now you can see, look, we've got these choices here, 90, 95, or 100, which I think is the 100 was the what it was before, which I felt was fine. I'm not sure why you'd need to keep it any lower, but at any rate, choice is good. We've got three choices now for the approximate activation temperature of uh, cabin overheat protection, which is pretty darned nice. What else was in there that we were looking at here? Um, let's see here, release notes. Popped it open, Tesla app, cabin left. Of I think that's it. I think that's it. A real quick video. Just wanted to show you some of the details. Uh, anybody can read these release notes, but uh, having it seen on the screen for the first time before you may actually get the update, that's kind of wanted. To, I wanted to show you. So this is my 2022 Tesla Model Y performance. It got the update on September 12th, last night. I said, go ahead, go ahead and do it. My 2019 Tesla Model 3 SR Plus has yet to see the update. It's not up there, it's not showing, so it hasn't been updated yet. So I think it's trickling out. As we see most of these updates do, they, they trickle out slowly and uh, more and more cars will start to get them. So there you have it, 2022.36.2, the latest Tesla software update, a little more than bug fixes. Thanks so much for watching Tesla Tips and Trips. I'll catch you out on the next video. Catch you out, catch you on the, words are hard. <laughs>